Hi there everybody, Lab Guy here. What we're looking at is the uh, latest product from my good friend Eric Schlepfer. Maniac Genius Maker Supreme. Great guy. He's uh, asked me to uh, beta site test his latest CRT driver board. This board operates on 5 volts DC and creates all of the drive voltages necessary to run old-fashioned uh, oscilloscope CRTs. And uh, tonight I'm going to turn this thing on and light up my 3JP12 which is uh, approximately from the oh, late 1940s perhaps. It, it is World War II uh, vintage technology. P12 phosphor is a, is a wonderful uh, orange colored phosphor with a medium long persistence. Um, this board uh, provides 6.3 volts AC at about an amp for, to operate the heater in the tube. It produces the high voltage necessary uh, to operate the tube through the use of a um, cold, uh, uh, cold cathode fluorescent light inverter transformer. These are usually found in um, hand scanners, uh, flatbed scanners, uh, oh, LCD screens the, to, to light the old um, the fluorescent lights which have now pretty much been superseded by white LED technology. Um, so let's uh, turn it on and, and see if the tube lights up. I uh, had some difficulty finding an appropriate power supply at first. Uh, my regular 5 volt power supply is only good for about an amp and the inrush current on this was just too much for it. It could never start it. Um, briefly we'll see a spot form on the tube and uh, the uh, there it is. Uh, the tube is operating in a static mode. The, the Eric Schlepfer board has provisions for X, Y, and Z input. X and Y are the left and right uh, positioning of the beam uh, to deflect it. So uh, at the moment I can use the um, the horizontal positioning control to sweep the beam back and forth. So it is uh, the tube is oriented relatively correctly. It is moving in the horizontal direction. I love the little comet tail. Then uh, we can try the vertical direction and it too is operating. So let's try to go for the center of the tube where the most most meat is on the phosphor. Okay, uh, there we go. Approximately the center. Um, and we have up and down. We have good range on the pots. And if I had two screwdrivers I would uh, play Etch-a-Sketch for you, but I don't. Um, there's also the focus control which allows us to focus the beam to a spot, to a nice sharp spot, as you can see. And there's a control called astigmatism, which takes care of balancing the voltage between the second anode of the tube and the deflection plates, which are at some static DC level, um, so that the spot is round. Uh, the other elements in the tube, because they have some electrostatic potential upon them, will distort the beam from its uh, round image. And so there's a provision to correct for this. Um, there's a brightness control so that you can uh, quench the beam completely. You can turn it up to incredible brightness. Just like uh, outer limits, we control the horizontal, we control the vertical. Uh, and this board in fact includes uh, control of the orthogonal and, the, uh, and uh, whatever else you might have. There's a contrast control because he also provides a video input. So at, at some point I will build a small external board which will take standard television input and produce a television picture on a tube such as this. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and remember my friend's website is uh, Tube Time. Uh, Google for Tube Time and you will find Eric's uh, website and you can see many of his uh, vacuum tube and exotic projects uh, indicated there.